Got a battery, got a key, got a hammer, and got a lawn tractor here that I'm going to work on. Well, it's been just so too crappy and snowy to work on this thing, and since it rained and it's melting, let's see if I can get this thing to crank over. Because I want to see if I can beat beat it with the starter because beat the starter because uh park brake because <sighs> it won't crank over even with a good battery it'll just try to but the, the starter is just too weak to even do it you guys remember this this is the yard machine yard machines mower that i made a video on a little while ago my dad's business partners still got no fuel but I want to see connections don't look that bad starter actually don't look that bad though either but yeah I'm gonna see if I can get the thing to crank I got put the battery on the tender yesterday Ooh, these are corroding a little bit but it's okay it's all right. It should work still. Yeah, let me get the battery in and all that crap. If I can get it to crank, I might see if I can get it to start. I don't know. I might have to put gas in it, but we don't have any right now. I just want to get, get it to the point where it's going to crank. Yeah, it rained pretty good early this morning, I guess. It's actually pretty nice outside. Yep. Okay, well, I'm going to get this battery in here, and I'm going to try to crank it over to make sure the starter still tries to crank. If it does, then I'll try hitting it, the hammer a little bit, because sometimes that'll work. I don't know if it will, but without further ado, let's get this thing in there. It's not going to get in there itself. I do need uh, to tighten up those batteries, cables, so... Let me go get something to tighten it. Before I forget, put the key in it. So it's all ready. This is the spare key for the Landmaster. The key for this thing is uh, in the office. So, yeah. At least we got a lot of keys here. That'll work. Then let me go get something to tighten that. Okay, got an 11 millimeter socket and I got a 716 trench. So now we can... Uh, <clears throat> Tighten up the battery cables. The seat is still dripping. Battery's tightened. Now let's see if the thing will still try to energize the starter like it did last time. Let's see if it'll still try to crank. Oh yeah, I just heard a backfire. Okay, well... Starter still tries to energize. I don't know if I doubt this will work. I'm just doubting. See if it'll work. Let's try that. I don't think so. All right, let's try hitting it while I'm turning the key. It really wants to, man. Probably gonna rip this thing off and see if I can see what's going on with the starter. Yeah, we're gonna have to rip the starter off, I think. Okay. So we have to disconnect the battery. I don't feel the cables getting hot.
I don't think I need to dig anything off to get to the starter. Yeah, let's rip this starter apart. Well, I think I'll just come back when I got the starter out. Guys, it's about a few hours later. I gave up on that mower for a while because I could not find the right size, but I finally did to get the starter cover off. It's one-fourth, quarter inch, of course. There's oil. I accidentally took that thing out and oil just started coming out. And it looked like there was a bunch of water in the oil just because the way it was rushing out of there, but... There's the starter itself. So, the, and there's the cover. I had to loosen this to get the cover all the way out. But I also just went and tightened it back up so I didn't lose it, the bolt or anything. So, got a socket set now. And I'm gonna see what size it is and then get that starter out. We're gonna see if she's good. I doubt it. Starter's out. I think we're gonna see if it's bad. I probably think it is. They don't fully crank. I got over here at the best time. Starter does not look that old though. So that shouldn't mean a thing. Starter's fine. Hmm. I wonder why it don't... I wonder if it needs a little grease or something because it don't fully crank over. It barely cranks. I don't know. Okay, so the starter's good. Okay. Okay, well, I don't need a starter, but I am pretty curious about the motor. Because it has been sitting outside for quite a while. Next thing you do is take the spark plug out and crank it. What is, oh, see if there's water in it? There's got to be because... Okay, I'm going to put it back on, guys, and I'll see you in a minute. 